or birthplace of the Illuminati. I think that's more of the headline. Uh, but uh, here is that report. The Illuminati does exist. The secret society is so notorious that many have assumed it resides only in legend and myth. But it was in fact founded on May 1st, 1776 in the heart of Bavaria, Germany. Aaron Dykes here for Infowars.com in Bavaria, Germany, where in Ingolstadt in 1776, Professor Adam Weishaupt founded the Illuminati right here at this university. And we are, as a people, opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of election. Uh, we'd like to show the historic background of the original Illuminati. It was here in Ingolstadt, 1776, when Adam Weishaupt founded the original Bavarian Illuminati, uh, a secret order. Uh, he found it here around the University of Ingolstadt. And in the beginning, it was a pure opposition against uh, powerful Jesuits. They had a very uh, strong, a very uh, important role here at the Ingolstadt University. Uh, of course, they were trying to uh, keep the power for the church. They were trying uh, to avoid the modern science. They didn't allow the modern science to be taught at the Ingolstadt. University. The original documents of the Illuminati are preserved at the State Museum. Look at Totem Mask from Johann Adam Weishaupt. It's the death mask. Adam Weishaupt's role in forming the Illuminati inside the city of Ingolstadt in Bavaria, Germany, cannot be disputed. We're overlooking a model of the old city of Ingolstadt. Professor Adam Weishaupt wanted to use this secret society to overthrow existing religions and all existing governments, especially monarchies. Instead, he wanted the learned men of universities using the pagan values of the old system passed down from societies like Egypt and Babylon to rule the world instead of the oppressive religious regimes and the oppressive monarchies that were in existence in Europe at the time. It was not through armies and force and numbers that Adam Weishaupt hoped to take over the existing governments and change them. Instead, he used his Illuminati secret society to infiltrate the existing structures of government and take them over from within. His attempt to create a new world order by deception and overthrow all existing governments and religions. Behind the scenes, powerful people like Mayor Amschel Rothschild were involved in founding the Bavarian Illuminati, while important titled and lettered men composed its membership. It claimed to work in secret only because it couldn't work out in the open. The Bavarian Illuminati used Freemasonry and other competing secret society lodges as an engine to conceal its inner membership and project its agenda into already powerful circles. Degrees of the Illuminati structure were adopted into many Masonic traditions, creating an effective venue for recruitment and control. Weishaupt himself took over key lodges in neighboring Munich and other parts of Bavaria, making the Lodge St. Theodore the de facto headquarters of the Illuminati. From that point, membership swelled and the group's allies spread across Europe. I'm standing in the old city of Munich, not far from where Adam Weishaupt's headquarters for the Illuminati was found. It was the Lodge Theodore, also known as the Lodge St. Theodore Albon Council. Now that lodge is nowhere to be found on the internet, although we know it's here somewhere in the old city. A lot of that old city was destroyed in World War II, but very suggestive is the church behind me that bears the all-seeing eye atop of it, the blazing emblem of the all-seeing eye with the triangle. By 1784, the Bavarian Illuminati had officially been exposed. The member list and the agenda had been found on a messenger killed when he was struck by lightning and the monarchs in Bavaria had the list and shared it with other monarchs. The ruler of Bavaria, Carl Theodore, outlawed the secret society, banished Adam Weishaupt and the other leaders scattered. Weishaupt himself avoided persecution under the protection to the end of his life by fellow Illuminist Duke Ernst of Saxe Coburg Gotha. Second in command to the Illuminati, Adolf Freiherr von Carnegie ostensibly disbanded the group known internally as those whose name had been cursed by posterity. The Illuminati was officially over in 1785 and Carnegie stepped down from his position. 
However, historians have conclusively found that von Koenigie simply revived the Illuminati under the guise of numerous reading societies as Weishaupt had originally instructed. Weishaupt told his initiates, quote, conceal the very fact of our existence from the profane. If they discover us, conceal our real objective by profession of benevolence. If our real objective is perceived, pretend to disband and relinquish the whole thing, but assume another name and put forward new agents. This plan was carried out with precision. Top brass of the Illuminati, Von Koenigi and Johann Joachim Christoph Bode, reestablished the revolutionary organization under the guise of publishing houses that pushed for the printing of controversial Enlightenment literature while operating behind the scenes via a clandestine inner circle that directed the agenda. These reading societies and publishing houses popped up across Europe and America. The German Union Publishing House operated on the Illuminati's home turf, while the Cercle Social, based in Paris, played a critical role in the French Revolution. Their work in France was to be the beginning of a global revolution to take over the entire world. The original Bavarian Illuminati went underground and faded from existence. But the true legacy of the Illuminati continues. It was the embodiment of a working model for secret government, cleverly concealed within existing institutions and perpetuated by the lure of its secret mysteries and ambitious aims. But those occultic religious trappings were just a mask for the real model of infiltration and domination. The real Illuminati continued in other secret groups working under other names. At their core, they were nothing more than private intelligence agencies who carried out their agenda through the positions of power held by their elite membership, bonded by secrecy.